Gombeis Anonymous Support Group. This is a safe space to talk about recovery, addiction, and davening. I know those things don't usually go together, friends, but sometimes they do. No one can hurt you here. As is our practice, we'll now make the formal introductions. Please insert your names at the pause. Hello, my name is... Good. Who'd like to start us off this evening? My heart's beating so fast. Hi. <coughs> Hi. My name is Mayor Shmuel Ben Yechiel Michal Halevi. Hi, Hi Mayor Shmuel Ben Yechiel Michal Halevi. And I've been a Gabbai for 18 months. I'm Simi's sponsor, and I've been a Gabbai for 116 months. I know what Simi's going through. It took him a lot of courage to come here tonight and admit that he's a Gabbai. We're real proud of you, Simi. Not many people know this, but before I was a Gabbai, I was a cross-dresser for many years. And me too. Mayor Shmuel, tell us your story. Well, I have a confession to make. It's taken me a long, long time to get over the stigma of coming today and, and lifting this weight off my shoulders. I guess it all started with my father. He was a Gabbai too? Yes. Yes, he was a Gabbai. He was the first person in shul in the morning, the last person to get home and leave shul at night. It was the only life I knew. Tore our family apart, stole my childhood. And now I'm doing the same thing to my children. <laughs> Everything in my life now is about the shul. Last week, I met someone new at the office, and I immediately asked him if he was a Cohen or a Levy. Is that normal? So it's important not to question whether it's normal. For this group, it is normal. I'm hearing a lot of, a lot of anger and, and a lot of pain. Does anyone else want to share tonight? I'd like to say something. My name is Arya Mordechai Menachem Mendel, and I've been a Gabbai for 12 months. Hello, Leo. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an infamous hand surgeon, but in sure I feel totally inadequate. As a Gabbai, I have terrible performance anxiety. Sometimes I think the youth Gabbai were better than I am. That's true. I can't take it. Last week, a Yisrael had Yotzite and it didn't show up until after Kedusha, and I gave it to somebody else. Oh, when he finally showed up, I had nothing else to give him but Hagba. But that wasn't good enough for him. He was furious at me. He hasn't spoken to me since. What time is it? It's four halakim after ten. Uh, I'd like to share something with the group if I can. I, uh, I once forgot to announce Birchas HaGomel after a V. Oh. 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 Took me months to get over it. Oh, no. Hello, my, my, my story is a bit different. My name is David David Ben Sion Ben Daniel Yitzchak. Hello, Hello David. David. This is a safe place to discuss your addictions, David. Thank you. Well, I actually, I love being a Gabbai. What can I say? Uh, but I don't want to be Gabbai Shani anymore. Uh, I want to I wanna be a Gabbai Rishon. I want to make it to the, to the big leagues. It, it's true, I'm in charge of page numbers and psicha. Teicha. Okay. I, I think some people call it psicha, Leo, and I, I, think, I think we need to just respect David's space. Oh. It's, anyway, it's a lot of responsibility being a god by Shaney. But, you know, I feel so invisible. I hate to admit it, but I'm, I'm almost hoping, praying that Neil quits, that he, that he moves to Israel. So I could fantasize that maybe I could make it. Maybe I could be the god by Rishon. And I get my chance, because when you're god by Shaney, no, just nobody knows who you are. You're just you're invisible. You're just so lonely. You feel lonely. David, I think you'd be a great god by Rishon. And I have to tell you, 
as a friend and as a physician that I'm really worried about Neil. Matthew just called me to tell me that Neil is singing Sim and Tov and Muzzle Tov every night after supper and that he's just hung up a Jakeda poster in his downstairs bathroom. I'm really worried about his heart. I heard a rumor from Fran actually that she contacted Tony Blair to have him work on the Middle East because KMS is just getting too much for him. He emailed me from Basra to ask who'd be doing Pesukah de Zimra on Shabbos. He's obsessed with Hagba and Galila. In Israel, he's just another Gabai, and that's why he keeps coming back. Gentlemen, I really respect the love and the care that you show for each other, and I think it's a real support, and, um, and it helps stabilize you. This is a, is a very difficult, demanding job. Um, so thank you for this session. I want to conclude, as we always do, by reading our 12 steps together. Please turn to the inside back cover. For the sin of withholding an aliyah from a person I don't like. For the sin of forgetting to announce Yala Viyavo. For the sin of allowing Marav to start a minute late. For the sin of frequently assigning myself to be the Baal Tefillah. For the sin of moving the paperclip to a larger pledge amount. For the sin of ignoring multiple phone calls and emails from Neil Kritz. For the sin of not asking the rabbi where to make a hosafa. For the sin of not giving an aliyah in honor of an occasion that I didn't think was important, like that pet yard site. <laughs> Kindergarten graduation. For the sin of viciously correcting a bar mitzvah boy. For the sin of being jealous of those women who lead the women's tefillah group. Those girls are just so much nicer to each other. For the sin of announcing the page numbers for the stone chumashim and the chumash with Rashi, but not the hearse chumashim. Let's all read the last of our 12 steps together. God, God grant, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Our next meeting is scheduled 6.20 on Tuesday. We'll start at 6.19. Hey,